Rahman Rahim Assalam Alaikum Welcome to Technically Explained In this video we are going to discuss the difference between DB, DBI, DBM and DBD, DBD. So let us start First of all why do we use decibels? You know that decibel is a logarithm, logarithmic scale so why do we use logarithmic scale? The reason is that it is very difficult uh, to manage very large or small numbers or ratio. So the logarithmic scale is used to avoid very sm large or small numbers or ratio. So that's why we use these decibels because it is easy to work with. For example, I have a power ratio which is around 1 lakh which is 10 raised to power 5. That can be easily expressed in decibels or in algorithmic scale as 50 dB. Similarly, a very small ratio of 0 0.00001 can easily be expressed as minus 50 dB. Similarly, I can express the 10 raised to power 8 as easily as 80 dB. So, representing it in logarithmic scale is very easy. Another example is that uh, it is more convenient to say that the gain of an amplifier is 50 dB than to say that the gain of an amplifier is 1 lakh. So, that's why we use decibels to avoid very small or very large numbers and use convenient uh, algor uh, logarithmic scale. Now the formula of the decibel in terms of power is this thing. So this is the formula of decibel. So if you want to represent a power in decibel we simply used this formula and this is actually a ratio. If the input power is not given you should take input power as one watt. So this actually is this decibel is actually a ratio in case the input power is not given you should take the input power as one more. But when we are talking about the dBm, in the dBm the reference power is taken as one milliwatt. That's why we have the M over here which stands for the milli. So the dBm is taken with reference to the, to, to, with reference to the absolute value of one milliwatt. And to convert dB to dBm simply add 30 and you will get dBm. Similarly on the other way around if you want to convert dBm to dB simply subtract 30 and you will get dB. Fine. How? For example if I have a question to convert dB to dBm. Now I have dB given so convert it to dBm simply I am going to add 30 and I am going to get 40 dBm. Fine. So 10 dB is actually equal to the 40 dBm. So we, we have a formula over here. So if we want to find the gain in dB, we are given gain in dBm, we need to subtract minus 30 dB. Similarly, if we are given gain in uh, dB and we want to find gain in dBm, we can add 30 here. Just as here the case was that we were given the gain in dB, which is this thing, we simply add 30 and we got 40 dBm which is our answer here and the other thing is dB and dBi remember that dB and dBi are the same why because decibel is taken with respect to uh, 1 or 0 dB similarly the gain of an isotropic antenna dBi is taken with, re with reference to as an isotropic antenna and the gain of the isotropic antenna is also 0 dB. So that's why dB and dBi is same. So if I say 6 dB, this is equal to 6 dBi. If I say 12 dB, this is actually equal to the 12 dBi. And so on. If I say 10 dB, this is actually equal to the 10 dBi. So there is no difference between dB and dBi when it comes to the antenna gain because dBi is with reference to a isotropic antenna which is also 0 dB and dB is reference to dB is also with reference to the 0 dB the other thing is dBd and dBi dBd is a gain of an antenna to the gain of a reference dipole antenna so dBd is with reference to the dipole antenna gain and we know that the gain of a dipole antenna is 2.15 dBi are 2.15 dB. So now to convert dBi to dB what we need to do if you are given a gain in dBi fine we need to subtract minus 2.15 when we subtract 2.15 we will get gain in dB. 
similarly if you are gain in uh, if you are given gain in dvd which is with reference to the dipole antenna to get gain in dvi we should simply add 2.15 db and we will get gain in dvi so that's all for today if you like my video please subscribe to my channel technically explained thank you